we have the smallest size first, the sheet size A, which is very similar to the letter sheet size we all know. This size is used for small drawings that have little information. Then we have size B, which is twice size A, and is used for slightly more complex drawings. Size Z is double the size B, that is to say approximately four letter sheets. Size D is double the size C. This is used for assembly drawings of large products or complex parts. Finally, we have size E, which is twice size D and is approximately 16 sheets letter size. This is the largest standard drawing size currently used, although there are other sizes. The designer must be aware of the correct use of the size of the sheets, that is, he should not draw simple parts on a sheet size E, since it would be a waste of space and paper in case the drawing is printed. Here we can see the common sizes overlapped, although today we practically print all the planes in letter or tabloid size, or not even print them. But we must take into account that if the sheet size is D or E, it is possible that the text won't be clear when printing it in regular letter size sheet.